Major League Baseball is coming to Portland. Maybe. Hey, thanks for watching. So today, I'm going to talk about this new push, this new project to bring Major League Baseball to Portland, Oregon. Now, Portland has been trying for years and decades to get a Major League Baseball team. Uh, this seems to come up every now and again, and it's never happened. Uh, but just in the past few days, it has been revealed that there's a new group that is trying to make this happen. Um, they are called the Portland Diamond Project. Get it? Diamond. Uh, baseball diamond. Uh, and they were met with city leaders to talk about their plans to bring a Major League uh, baseball team to Portland. And I'll just go over some of the things that are different this time that maybe it'll, it, maybe it'll work this time as opposed to the past. Um, the first, we have a mayor right now who's very pro-business. Um, there's not a business that he won't do something for, it seems. Uh, just as an example, he just sold a jail that taxpayers bought for $58 million dollars and they never used it and it sat empty for a decade or whatever and he sold it off to a developer for five million you know because I don't I don't know he, he just did um, <laughs> but this new project the Portland Diamond project apparently has been working behind the scenes and right now they're trying to secure a location uh, for a ballpark in downtown Portland Good luck with that. Um, they do have an executive from Nike on their board, and it seems like the group uh, has a lot of financing and they're ready to go. In fact, the plan that they presented to the city involved no public funds uh, for the stadium. There was mention of $150 million from a bond bill from a decade ago when Portland tried to get the Expos, uh, and that money comes from... Uh, extra taxes on the ballplayers' salaries. Uh, but apparently, they're going to do this without public funding. Now, I know <clears throat> anytime they say there's absolutely going to be no public funding, there always ends up being a little public funding. Uh, that's always a lie. Um, and I know that... <clears throat> but since there is no public funding, there will not be a public vote. And without a public vote, they can probably make this happen. Now, who could they get to come to Portland? Well, the obvious choice right now would be the Oakland A's. The situation in Oakland is abysmal, and they might be looking to relocate the team. And so that is one possibility. And the other possibility is that Major League Baseball expands, has an expansion, and brings in more teams. Now, it's interesting because I don't really see Portland as a baseball town. I don't think that there's a lot of people here that are into baseball. I've been in a hundred uh, sports bars, and I never, never see a baseball game on. Uh, it doesn't seem to be in the consciousness of the city. The teams that are here are very popular. The Timbers, the Portland Timbers, the Major League Soccer team has sold out every single game. It's like 22,000 seats that they've sold out uh, since they became a Major League Soccer team. Uh, the Trailblazers have in the past had the longest sellout streak. So it is possible that the city of Portland could support a Major League Baseball team. I don't really see it. I'm not really a baseball guy. Um, but I'm wrong about a lot of stuff. So it very well could be a huge success if they were able to make it happen. Now, I just want to give some input as to what I think is really important. Uh, sure, getting the right stadium and the right location and all of that is important. But the most important thing is you got to have a good name, right? you got to have cool colors and something that people want to buy merchandise for. I will give you two examples. We had a lacrosse team that was here, and they were called the Lumberjacks, right? Cool name. They had a cool logo. They spelled it Jax, J-A-X. Ah, it's kind of cringy. I can't wear, a grown man can't wear J-A-X on a shirt. Uh, they failed. For a short while, we had indoor football here for four seasons, I think. And when they announced that they were doing this, they got input from the public. Hey, what should we call our team? And they had all kinds of great names for the team, and they chose Thunder. 
And that could be the dumbest name ever for a team. Um, first off, the Thunder is what used to be the Seattle Supersonics, is now the Thunder. People in Portland do not want to wear a shirt that says Thunder. Second, while it does rain in Portland a lot, we don't get a whole lot of lightning and thunder. That doesn't happen here. I can't even recall the last time it's happened. So naming a team Thunder is just dumb. And so the Portland Thunder name didn't work, so they ended up changing it to the Portland Steel. Well, this isn't a steel town either. Doesn't make any sense. And that team failed. Now, Timbers, that's a cool name. The women's uh, pro soccer is the Thorns, because this is the Rose City, and so a thorn, you get it. Uh, That's a great name. The Trailblazers, that's a cool name. They have a cool jersey and a nice logo. That is going to be important. Please pick a good name for the baseball team if you move here. Please pick a name that is good, something that people will want to get behind and be a fan of. Do you have any thoughts about Major League Baseball coming to Portland? Let me know in the comments. Peace. You can help me reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers by clicking the like button and subscribing. Thanks.